What's up everybody? This thing is about to go, so I thought I'd get a video of it. So this is a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance. Um, it's currently parked where my car would usually go. My car is back away. My mom took it into work today and I've been driving this, so this has been fun. Um, SRX is here. The SRX has actually been gone for about three months. It was in a pretty bad wreck. Um, <coughs> my dad was at a stoplight. Let's uh, go ahead and just, you know, fast through the story real quick because we've got to take this thing back soon. He's at a stoplight. <coughs> Girl not paying attention. Ran the red light. Crashed into him. Thus, this car. We've had this car since uh, the end of May. I think May 28th. So we've had it for quite a while. Um, SRX has been getting fixed. It is now fixed. It's already got a quirk or two that we've got to take it back for. Um, but as you can see, they replaced the headlight. This headlight was not replaced, but they did shine it up for us because it was getting kind of dingy looking. Um, the bumper fitment on this isn't very good. You can kind of see the glue. Um, they, so we're going to take it back for that. As you can see, they put in new parking sensors. This one's missing a little rubber piece. So is this one. And this side is kind of indented, and which looks really ugly. So I've got to take it back in for that. Um, also, none of the park sensors work currently, which is very irritating. So it's got to go back in, you know, for that as well, which is annoying. So, you know, we've been out without the car for three months and we're already a two car family. So not very happy about the quality of this body shop, but we're going to take it back. They're going to fix it right. So other than that, it's just really dusty, really dirty. I'll kind of do a full update on this thing in a couple weeks. But right now, this is about the Tesla because this thing's about to go. My mom's about to come home from work, so I got to move it out the way because my car gets the garage spot before this thing does. So <clears throat> anyway, 2022, it's got the little glass, not moonroof, but just glass panel. It's got some nice wheels below. It's got the blacked out door handles. Obviously, it's got the charge port. You can see there um, somebody's getting their house redone. It's got front and rear parking sensors down here. Nice turn signals, camera in the pillar. I look completely hideous, please disregard. Mirrors are automatic and when it, um, it recognizes your location, basically when you come home, the mirrors will fold in, which is a very nice thing. Camera down here with your little turn signal. Of course, it's got LED lights. Here's your frunk, which I'll open that up in just a second. Let's go ahead and close this door though, because it's very hot out here in Texas. So, um, yeah. But anyway, just to lock it, unlock it, please disregard how I look. I've been at home just the whole day. The only time I left the house was to go get Chick-fil-A through the drive-thru and to get this car because we just picked this up today. So, um, but usually Tesla parked over here, my car over here, and it's just kind of been the replacement for the SRX. But since the SRX is back, this has got to go. Um, that's to lock it. That's to unlock it. You kind of hear it ding. If we get in here, it is dirty. It is a rental, so it's not very taken care of as far as like any of us cleaning it. If we get in, you can see the nice wood panels, the nice uh, material up here. My hands are sweating because it's so hot. Window controls, this is how you open the door. And then you got kind of the storage bin. Please disregard my feet, I know. Um, steering wheel with your multi-function buttons. Turn signals, if you hit the turn signal, you can see your little blind spot camera come up. Other one, blind spot camera. And then you've got your uh, washer button here, your Mercedes-Benz-esque gear shifter here. I just started the car. There's your gear shift. And then here you can see a nice demonstration of the parking sensors of this car. So if I inch forward, you can hear it. Yeah, it's telling me to stop. I'm in front of the bikes. This is usually where, of course, my car would go. And I don't have that luxury of it telling me to stop. I just kind of have to gauge the distance. Here's the rear camera. It does bring up, bring up the side cameras as well. But there you can see it's very good at gauging distances. My dad absolutely loves the parking sensor system in this car a lot better than his SRX, which is currently not functioning. So he's kind of irritated. Um, but yeah, you can see it tells you how many inches away you are. And then just press in the button here for park, P for park. As you know, here's the navigation system. It's very nice, just basically like Google Maps. Um, and if you know anything about Tesla's, Everything is controlled by the screen. So unfold the mirrors, there you go. But we keep them folded in here. Um, you can see location saved. Um, wiper controls, how to adjust your mirrors. You use this function here, this button here to adjust your mirrors. 
Same with the steering wheel, you use this. There you go. Um, <clears throat> you've got pedals and steering. You've got basically all your car settings. Charging, I will say that in the amount of time that we had this car, the charging price has gone up. Originally, if you were at about 50 miles till E and you go to a supercharger, it cost you maybe $17, $18. However, last time we visited there with 50 miles, it cost about 28. So just something to keep in mind. Settings, all of your settings here for different things. Safety, completely power off the car. Service, you can see your tire pressure, owner's manual. Software, this is where you get software updates for the car. Um, when we got the car, it had 100 miles. <laughs> so my dad has put on um, 6,600 miles, put the put 6,600 miles on the car since we've had it. We got it May 28th, I believe. Um, so quite a bit of miles which has, you know, taken the mileage away from the SRX. The SRX currently has 102. Right before it got wrecked, it was due for oil change service. So we've got to take it in the Frank Kent Cadillac and get that done because of course, the whack ass body shop didn't do anything to change the oil. They didn't do the fluids, take a look at the fluids. So we're very, very irritated with them about that. However, my dad is really happy to have his car back. Another update about that car will be coming later, but I just want to say, do not be surprised if this is gone in a couple months because he's not one to really keep cars after it's had a wreck, especially a pretty fairly major one like this one with suspension components being um, having to be replaced and all that kind of stuff. I, if I can insert a picture, figure out how to do that, I will, but it, it, it wasn't a very, you know, light accident. Um, however, insurance decided to fix it, which is unfortunate. We would have much rather just had the money, taken the payout, and got a new car, but insurance said no, so. But anyway, it's got to go in for 102,000 mile service. First, it's got to go in to get the the freaking, excuse me, excuse me, the freaking parking sensors fixed, because um, that's a big deal breaker for my dad. That's the reason he buys these Cadillacs, uh, one of the reasons he buys Cadillac in the first place, because he loves having the front sensors pulling in the garage, so... But anyway, um, again, all of your things are controlled by the, <laughs> you can see my contact list, controlled by the screen here. I have been driving this car um, quite frequently. If he's at home or if my car is gone, which is usually isn't the case, usually my car is at home, this car is at home, and all of us are usually at home. Uh, it just happens, so happens today. My mom is uh, part of the school system, so she's gone back to work. And um, again, being a two-car family, I, I'm not going to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and take her to school so she can take herself until I go back to school, which is in a couple weeks. As you can see here, radio, Bluetooth, streaming, all that kind of good stuff here. You got your toy box for 